Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? So I'm back out on my bike, back on another hill. And what's the best idea you've ever had? After a 50k ride where you really, really struggled? Yeah, a 200k training ride for Chase's son <laughs> down to Exmoor. I don't know why, but it needs to be done. So I'm currently 32k in, I'm heading up into the Quantox and then up into Exmoor. We've got Hookway and Draper's Hill off of the X list, which takes me to 14 out uh, of the 15 southwest ones. So just mam head to go after that. So that's my incentive is to go and get those climbs done. But I've got 202 kilometers, 2,400 meters of climbing according to Kamut. So it's not quite the uh, 320 kilometers that is of Chase the Sun North, but it's going to be good building blocks. Right, so I'm 65k in, like two and a half hours. So I'm not doing too bad at all. I'm on another hill. The top of Brendan Hills is over there, which gets you up onto Exmoor. Uh, that's looming in the background. I know it's coming. I seem to be avoiding it. I'm in a place called Roadwater, which is a beautiful place. I didn't even know it was here. Uh, there's a cafe and a shop. Might be a mistake missing that, but I'm trying to get to Exford. Now my current average speed I'm going to do it in about eight hours with all the faffing around I do. So I'm hoping to keep it to about that. But there's a lot of doubt in my mind as to whether I can actually do it after last week. So I'm just plodding on every little feel of your body thinking, oh, oh. <laughs> so I'm just trying to eat, drink a lot, and make it to Exford. Try and do it a little stage at a time. And I've also not picked up the camera much to film. I don't really want to faff around, I'm trying to get it done. So I found the first of the real proper climbs. It hasn't been too bad, apart from those couple of hairpins at the bottom out of Luxborough. It hasn't been too bad at all. I'm hoping we're near the top anyway, <laughs> and there's no more surprises. But it is coming over a bit grey. There are a few spots of rain. I know there's some rain forecast later on. I'm just hoping that I avoid them. So I descended down into Timberscombe. I had a brief glimpse of Dunkery Beacon, and now I'm going back up a hill, the X-list official climb, somewhere in the next few kilometers. But I'm going back up to Wedden Cross, and then I've got a reward, a little roll down into Exford for my first stop. I'm hoping that this climb is a pretty, which is why it's the X-list climb, and not that it's steep. <laughs> I know the other one has a couple of very steep switchbacks. So, starting to go up now. in 1300 meters I've made my way to Wexford still 110k to go <laughs> it is currently half past one so yeah about four hours ride time so I'm a bit ten, about 10k behind doing it in the eight hours so we'll have a coffee and cake here I hope there's not a big hill out here because there's a big one coming now <laughs> we're in the heart of Exmoor
Oh, this is a lovely road to ride on. Going over the top of Exmoor Forest and then I've dropped down into the village of Brendan. I know I've got Hookway, which is the next official X-list climb that gets me up to the top of Porlock. But we're at 112k now, we skipped on a bit. 1700 meters of climbing. Uh, and then hopefully a roll down into Porlock and another stop. I've got some sandwiches I'm already itching to eat. So, I know there's some very, very steep hairpins on this one, so just waiting for them to appear. <laughs> so far I still feel good. I am noticeably slower going up the hills. My strategy for the whole day is to be three wheel downhill and to uh, lightly pedal and not really ever push the pedals. I've had a tailwind out. I can feel the headwind now as I've turned around. I was kind of hoping it would die down, but I can definitely feel it. You're moving so differently Now this is all I want So if you make a move I promise I'll be there to ooh Give me time and wait You know I will be there before you have to yeah, I couldn't even get my camera out for a bit that Just a steep bit I just unclipped I definitely need to replace my left cleat because that, <laughs> that nearly had me come off. <laughs> Actually, also stood there, there's a car, a BMW. <laughs> Couldn't even get round that bend. He almost uh, got stuck. <laughs> but, oh, that's a steep bit of hill. I've been down, I've been everywhere, but I'm all right now, I'm all right. Nearly drown in my own despair, but I'm all right now. Yeah, baby, you can turn the rain into Messing around, but that has changed now. That has changed. I never thought. Stop number two. I got myself a uh, Coke, a bucket of crisps, and some sandwiches. And it looks like Deb's stopping some little bonus Haribo for me. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> uh, 127k done, and best part of 2000 meters of climbing. So that's all the climbing, most of it done. It should be just rolling all the way home now. to the camera in a while I sort of told myself when I left Paul up I'm not really going to do anything until I get to Holford when I turned off the main road back to Bridgewater. I'm now at 158.5k and I've done 2460 meters of climbing so that's the 2400 commute said so I'm now on the extra bit which shouldn't be too much coming back in. It's currently quarter six I'm feeling okay my legs know they've done 160k every time there's an incline <laughs> it's back into the little ring to just pedal up there slowly but yeah I feel okay I feel okay I think we're gonna make it I can do this I know I can do it now all that self-doubt and the anxiety when I started it's turning into a smile because we're nearly home just 40k to go <laughs> 25 miles <laughs> it's currently five to seven I've done 183k we've got less than 20k to go I'm back in familiar territory on the Polden Hills, so I know it's just a gentle roll back and then downhill into Glastonbury. Still feel okay, my legs are okay, my hamstrings feel tight, my shoulders feel like they've been hunched up all day. Uh, 
Yeah, my back so will probably do with getting off the saddle. <laughs> I'm starting to think about what food I'm gonna eat when I get off the bike. But I had a big morale boost. I was just watching the uh, football results. I'm a big Forest fan and they've been promoted back to the Premier League. So I got a smile on my face, not far to go. What a difference a week makes. Last week, I could barely do 50 miles. This week, 125. Oh, that's the second time in a week. I've ended a ride sat on the floor, although I probably won't get up this week. 203 kilometers, 2,700 meters of climbing, and it was nine and a quarter hours of ride time, plus me stops. I set at half nine, it's now 10 to eight. <laughs> I can't imagine cycling another 120 kilometers for Chase the Sun. This will help. Oh, I'm going to go eat some food, I'm going to have a shower, freshen up, and I'll see you next week. I've got another big ride next week. Scream.